Hi everyone, welcome back. This week we will go through my picks for McCall Patterns Summer Collection 2013. McCall Patterns Summer Collection have always been on trend and easy to make. I believe that summer sewing should be simple. It gives you more time to spend with family and friends, however, without sacrificing your unique style. My first pick is 6760, the maxi dress and bodysuit. The pattern says it's lined, so I'm thinking they're talking about the bodice only. I prefer a lined bodice for knits instead of having facings. Facings on knits can be a nightmare. They don't lay flat, so it's good that they omit them. The Iza Spring 2013 collection featured these beautiful bodysuits, so I'm happy to see that McCall's did one to capture that trend. 67.55. This is interesting. The suggested fabrics are crepes, chalice, pointy knit, and double knit. I was thinking that maybe the woven was for the blouse and the knits were for the skirt but then I noticed that the maxi skirt has a zipper and button so that's something to consider if I were to make this skirt I would want to make it in a knit so I would probably omit the zipper 67.56 these lace shorts were a big trend last year for teenagers and 20 something <laughs> year olds I think it's a cute pattern 6742. You know, I love a shirt dress, so this high low version definitely makes the cut. I like that it comes with a slip just in case you want to make a lace or eyelet version, you don't have to line the dress itself. 67. Someone on pattern review had mentioned. Finally, a peplum top made for knits. I think a lot of people are going to get 67.54 for view C, which will take you now into fall. The skater style dress is also popular with the younger generation. Express has tons of them right now on their website. McCall's did a racer back maxi last summer so I was shocked that they made another one this one I will not be getting I feel like it's already been done and it's kind of redundant but I still think hey if you didn't get one last year and you want to try it go for it I absolutely love 6740 this is the type of dress that looks expensive because of all the seams, the gordettes, and the bra cups. It's a little 80s, but I like that look for a younger lady. Maybe paired up with a good old-fashioned denim jacket. And I love the red crow vibe. 6741. This is a great basic fit and flare dress for your pattern stash. And the best part about it is that it's lined. It's always a good idea to collect line basic patterns because you look at them to give you a guide on how to line a similar silhouette garment if it doesn't have one. 67.52 is another great basic knit dress. You may already have 60.69. It's OPP right now so check your stash um, the design lines kind of reminds me of view B and D 67 I think the twisted skirt of 6746 looks very interesting um, it looks like a designer feature and I like the contrast color view and I like that they belted it. 67.51 I like the crossover back, view B. This was all the rage last summer, so I'm happy to see that they made note of it. And they put a pattern out there. 
The idea is that you wear it with a contrasting top under it. So it has this peekaboo effect in the back. 6750 and 6751. These are my last picks. I would get the shirt pattern because you know I love shirts. I think this is another good basic. But I also like the skirt. I don't think I've seen a skirt with a well pocket like this in a while. So it's probably a good one to add to your stash if you like this look. So these are my picks. I hope you enjoyed the collection review and let me know what you were thinking of adding to your stash. Bye.